Hey guys, it's me, Seth Blocks here. And today, I know this looks pretty weird. I am going to show you guys this la the latest version of Windows. And what it is, is what you're seeing right here. Now you may think, why is, what's this? This is Windows Sandbox. I'll go over that right now. So, in Windows Sandbox, we can type here to search. <laughs> so, there's this place where you can search things up, open apps, which it only has these apps. And only one put productive app and that's the web. That's so poor. Cool. Now can you install apps? Yes. Will they last? Not at all. Let me show you. I can make a new image. Blah blah blah. And we can edit this image to say Let's say la. Sorry, I'm drawing sloppy. Writing sloppy. La. La. <laughs> and we save that. And you can see that this is the only way we can open it. So we. We can open it and we can edit this. So let's say maybe we want the background to be, to be green like this. Let's say we want that. And maybe we're not going over art in this video, don't worry. And maybe that. Maybe we want to make that image. And let's say we want to white type about it uh, about la 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 and we open it and we say la 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 is garbage because there's no use for it it's just an example and let's say L A L A L A. Let's say we hop we put it all in here. Move here. Move here. So now we'll be able to open, close our folder. Except wait a moment. If I were to close it and well you can it's hard to notice though. All my apps are here, and this is the actual Windows. <laughs> and I go back to it. You, there's something weird that you gotta notice. Very weird. Something happens with the files. And if you pause the video when the message came up, you probably already know. <coughs> Though, please don't if you. are if you didn't because it then it's a better surprise. It's easier to load then. So yes, this does take a while to load and I'll tell you the true purpose of it besides getting all your files messed up. And I'll tell you what happens. They get deleted. Your files are permanently lost. And why is this useful? Well, let me tell you why. So let's say you want to download something, though it seems a little fishy or suspicious. You, you can do it here, and it's really good because it has a 
extra strong second level of security in it, which makes it really, really hard for malware to get out, and it has to find a flaw, which is hard to find because first, it right here, I yep, we have Windows sec Security, which is, has a good chance of stopping it. And then this is actually Windows inside of the box. Yeah. So let so if you want to see if it's safe or not, because it seems a little suspicious, you can do it in your sandbox and it's it's not gonna get out now. It might if it has a certain malware though that's very, very rare. And So, okay, so that's basically its point, is to be able to be a safe place to download all your files, suspicious files, or whatever, eh, without damaging or messing up your computer. Now, now, you may think, Windows itself. If I go t to here, it shows that I have Windows security on here. Though, why? That means you may be asking, why do we not want to do it here if we have Windows security? Well, that's because it's still not as safe. I'm not going to be going over that. So, also you can see that you might remember this icon that allows you to talk to the computer and it'll respond to you. Though, they've been separated now. So now there's Search and then there's Cortana, which is now separate. Now, the cool thing is that when you down download it you keep all your files all your data and whatever you have your recycle bin it doesn't even get emptied in fact if we open it here's all my recycle bin items I don't know why this is so long of a list though it's not about that it's about how your files are all saved. Folders, yep, they have all their stuff too. Background that saved except I up changed it, not updated it. Because I liked the new one. And we still have all our photos, videos, games browsers our account still signed in and it's it's completely free and let me tell you how you get this version so first this version is called Windows 10 1903 the May 10 19 update and I really like it. I think you guys might like it too, or your parents might for security on their computer. And what you're going to do is we're going to go to Windows 10 Update Assistant, which you can... And which you may think, oh, just press check for updates and that won't work <laughs> because they're slowly giving it out and I don't have Wi-Fi Gee. Uh, sorry guys I'll fix that in one <laughs> so you're going to be able to search up for it This is showing how you do it. 
with regular windows and not the update assistant. Now if you go here I believe. Oh, there's a download the update assistant button. And and it says the update the update assistant can help you update to the latest version of Windows 10. To get started, click update now, which I'm already updated and I already have it, so I don't need it. I'll probably put a link down below to where you can get it. And it'll still have everything. All you, the Wi-Fi password still on your computer. All your games, files. Yes, I still have every single file. And whatever you have, still here. It doesn't take away any drivers, which are very important things. And I think it's a really cool thing that you can get this now and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.